Mike Babcock's Cinderella return story of redemption ends promptly and he gets sent packing as he deserves so. If we want to learn about our own lives, about how to be our best selves, or about how to navigate the world with dignity and respect and integrity, then we can learn a great deal from what happens in the world around us. If you are aware of the NHL, if you are aware of coach Mike Babcock, then you are familiar with the story. He has a decorated career, certainly. He won gold medals, he won the Stanley Cup, and generally speaking, his credentials speak for themselves. And at the same time, they do not speak for his personality. It's hard to know how far back his unhelpful or disgraceful behavior goes. Certainly there are stories from players and colleagues that point to aspects of her behavior that are unacceptable. So let's dig into how this applies to us psychologically. So just remember, I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I am simply speculating, commenting on how we can learn about situations like this, apply them to our lives, apply them to other people so that we can live a better, more resilient, fulfilling life. So firstly, Mike Babcock was fired from the Toronto Maple Leafs for the treatment of players, specifically Toronto Maple Leaf rookie Mitch Marner, how he humiliated him, tricked him into exposing his thoughts, private thoughts about the players. So he was then also called up on all these different accusations from the past, which were affirmed by past players. To me, first off, how in the world the Columbus Blue Jackets even decided it was remotely a good idea to hire this jerk again is beyond me. It seems completely mad and completely just stupid, frankly. So they hired Mike Babcock. He was about to start coaching this season. And then an incident surfaced on the Spitting Chicklets podcast that accused him, outed him for doing basically the same thing that he did in the past. And again, just to imagine the arrogance or the narcissism of this man to be fired from the NHL for bad behavior, to not take responsibility for any of that behavior and, and to say all the right things with his mouth, to, word, to mouth the words of, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna do better, all that junk. Somehow, again, he crawls his way back into the NHL and what do you know, nothing's changed. He deserves to be fired. I'm glad he was fired. That's my personal opinion. It, it's just madness that that even happened. Okay, I'll stop complaining about that. So what do we, what can we learn about this psychologically? So if you behave badly, okay, or you do something you're not proud of, you're a human being, no one's perfect, okay? What matters here and what we can learn from this, and which Mike Babcock certainly did not learn, is to take responsibility for our actions. Now, in order to do that, we need to know what those actions are, why they're not okay, what other people think about them, and how we can sort of engage in some humility and integrity to actually look ourselves in the mirror and say, yeah, man, or whatever, you screwed up, this isn't okay, I need to make amends for this. Now, making amends is not apologizing. Clearly, Mike Babcock apologized, but he did not make amends, nor did he ever really take responsibility for his behavior. So we're, we need to acknowledge our behavior. We need to see it clearly. We need to get feedback from others, okay, to make sure we're not just lying to ourselves or lying or, again, mouthing words to avoid responsibility. So we do need that external feedback. So maybe that's a therapist, maybe that's a coach, maybe that's a good friend, someone you trust, but we need to get feedback about our bad behavior. And clearly Mike Babcock did not do that. So once we get some feedback for our bad behavior, we might call this our shadow self. We might call this you know, our hidden ego traits. It doesn't really matter what we call it. Although what matters is that we acknowledge that we behaved badly. Now, in order to make amends, which I said is different than an apology, we need to know what that behavior is. 
then we need to start acting differently so that that behavior does not repeat itself. That's what an amends is. Clearly, Mike Babcock did not change his behavior, got in trouble for it, thankfully, and is now, again, without a job. So how might one change their behavior? Well, again, you need to know what the behavior is. You can't do that on your own, okay, because we have blind spots. We need feedback from others. So what did I do wrong? What are the ego traits, personality traits, characteristics of that bad behavior? Can I get feedback from them? Can I then learn to practice behaving differently and address those behaviors and those quirks, those personality traits that come up again from time to time? Here, it looks like Babcock was quite manipulative. He was perhaps passive aggressive. He was just an ass, to be honest. And he obviously didn't do anything about that. So what are our behaviors that we're trying to change? How do we go about changing them? Okay. Clearly the most important piece is just being honest and being willing to admit that we have these problems. So then we can address them, we can work on them. And then we start changing our behavior and responding differently to situations as they come up in the future. And that's a form of healing. That's a form of making amends. Other people might call, call that karma, okay? That's a way of making up for our past karmic debts and mistakes. And that's how we change. That's how we make amends to the world. And that's how we redeem ourselves. That's how we take that hero's journey through the darkness of our own badness or evil. And we face the dragons, as they say. We face the demons, we face the darkness, and we come out the other side stronger, better, more resilient, and with some humility and integrity and nobility. And those types of patterns and taking responsibility for our behavior ultimately create a strong foundation for ourselves to be the person we want to be, to improve ourselves, to really have a good life, and to be a role model to those around us. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Please, uh, if you do behave badly, you feel guilty or shameful about it, that's okay. What matters is that you do something about it, that you get help, that you get some guidance, that you change your behavior, and that you come out the other side a better human being so that you no longer have to apologize for this bad behavior because you don't behave that way anymore. Okay, and I think it's very useful to use larger than life names or athletes or public figures to help us learn about these things. So good riddance, Mike Babcock. I'm just, I, I just hope he doesn't get hired ever again. I, I am very curious what the idiocy behind the Columbus Blue Jackets need to hire this man was. And um, yeah, go out there, be a better human being, enjoy your life, take responsibility. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.